What's happening, y'all? Creole Diecast here. Uh, tonight's video, I got a little wheel swap for y'all. Right here, I have a 57 Chevy Bel Air by M2 Machines. And I see that the bottom of the car is just screwed on. So I'm going uh, to see if I can take these wheels off right here. Because I kind of compared the bottom of the car to like some of these Monte Carlos. And they're like all kind of tubs, so they all kind of got like the wide tires. So I'm hoping that these wheels will work on one of those Monte Carlos. Uh, I'm unsure of what color I'm going to put the wheels on yet. Uh, I was looking at the Regal until I noticed that those wheels are just regular all around. So I'm not going to mess with this one tonight. But definitely out of these three right here. I'm not too sure what color I'm going to choose for as far as my wheel swap. But what y'all think of these wheels? I think they'll look good on those Monte Carlos. I have some other wheels like for a classic car. I think that would look good on this car. So I'll probably put those uh, while I'm doing that as well. So I hope y'all like the video. Y'all stick around. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Check out my Instagram page, Creole Diecast. Let's get started. simple to take off I like the fact that it just had some screws in it uh, let me show you all those classic wheels that I was talking about that would look good on that car uh, let's see what I'm gonna take them out of the pack uh, these are some wheels that I got from Mojave Lobby set I think they'll look good on the car. They got a little classic look to them. So let's see if we can put these wheels on that car, y'all. And bam, a nice spot on the shelf it is. All right, let's get to the main reason why we're here now. Back to the Marty Carlos. Uh, let me grab my drill bit, and I think I'm gonna go with the green car, y'all, just because it got the butter interior and. Just think the chrome wheels with the green and that interior, just gonna look real nice. So let me get to drilling. 
Let's get it separated. All right, so I had drilled it again right quick, and now I got it off. So next, let's see if I can take these wheels off without messing up my, you know, little area here where I gotta snap the axles in. All right, so I had drilled it again right quick, and now I got it off. So next, let's see if I can take these wheels off without messing up my you know little area here where i gotta snap the axles in i saw a little trick on youtube where a guy had put his lighter to these little points here i guess it kind of heated it up and it was easier to bend so oh that looks like a too big of a flame oh, i burned my car i know it's about to stink All right, y'all, as y'all saw, I got the wheels off. Uh, some of the axles here, the actual area, it's kind of like pretty ugly. So I'm gonna have to kind of like shave this a little bit with my flathead, I guess that's all I got, really got right now. Uh, let me see what I can do with this. All right, guys, so I kind of shaved the middle part a little bit better, kind of made it a little bit cleaner. So let's see if I can put these wheels on. Let's see these back wheels gonna fit because that's the ones. Definitely looks good. Let's see, that's the front wheel. The front axle. That all together. Right. At the front, let's see if the body of the car will slide over. But first, I gotta snap off these edges from the rivets. Y'all close your eyes. <laughs>
charting. Charting, folks. I don't think that look bad. I don't think it look bad at all. So the last thing I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right there and the back part. But that's how I hold my cars together for now. I know some of you guys use the screws and whatnot, but I haven't got to that yet. But I hope y'all like my little video. Like I said earlier, hit that like and subscribe. Check out my Instagram page. I added a couple details. The grill, the park lights, the side marker lights, the tail lights, and the license plate area, as well as my exhaust tips.